COVID has taught us one thing, that the only way we can have a resilient tourism sector is by promoting domestic tourism. And I think statistics have been out there. For instance, the Kenyans, uh, if you look at them, even during the COVID time, because in Kenya, almost uh, six, over 60% of people that travel in Kenya are the Kenyans themselves. So even when they were affected by COVID and there was no travel, the sector survived. Hotels kept running, business kept uh, uh, normal. But Uganda, it was the opposite. 70% of the travelers were foreign. 30% were the East Africans. I think the Ugandans contributed 5%. If we remove the students that go to work and the rest. So that's why we are saying that now we are, we've learned something, that to have a more sustainable sector, the Ugandans should be able to travel. So that when such scenarios uh, happen and there's no foreign travel, then we can survive. Our hotels can stay in business. The, the, the responsibility of marketing Uganda shouldn't be for me as a minister, shouldn't be for UTB, shouldn't be for Sheraton, shouldn't be for Claire, should be for every Ugandan. Because honestly, who else do you expect to market this country? It is yours, it is beautiful yours, it's uniquely yours. And that's why we keep saying that, please, whenever you travel, take a picture, tweet, and share about it so that you can create awareness. 